This is Dockbridge High, a school just like yours. For two years, our cameras have followed day-to-day -day life here. There have been highs and lows. We returned for another year to find out how these talented teachers continue to excite and inspire a generation of young, eager minds at this most ordinary of schools. This is Class Dismissed. Another day begins and Head Hillary Head has been forced to call an emergency meeting in her office. So, good morning. Yes, it is good for all of you, for you are in the presence of greatness. By that I mean me. Good morning, Mrs. Head. This is the situation. This is not a drill. There is a leak in the school roof. Is this the puddle in the art block? Because Dave tried to mop it up, but Mr. Rom said it's his finest work to date. No, the leak is here in this very office. Oh, oh no. Like, where, fam? Oh, of course I would sit under the leak. Well done, Joy. We need to fix this pronto, so I need your fundraising ideas now. OK, so we stage a hip hopera of 27 of Shakespeare's best plays in the skate park. Never talk again. Mr Christopher. We could auction off everything I've ever sat on, slept on or looked at. We won't get money for that. Potlot. How about we stage a sponsored job swap where all the staff take on different jobs? I could, I don't know, be head teacher. Go and stand under the leak. Useless. The rest of you, I want £4,000 in cash on my desk by the end of the day or you're all fired. Go! Not you. Well, it was worth a try. While the staff get their own fundraising underway, it's up to Deputy Head Mr Potter to force the pupils to get involved. And so finally, remember to give generously after all, this affects you. Sir, didn't you say the leak was in Mrs Head's office? So, does it affect us at all? Well, no it doesn't, Jasmine. But if you don't get involved, then Mrs Head will shout at me, and then I will shout at you, and then it will affect you. So remember, fundraise, fundraise, fundraise! Year 10 pupil Mark is the first to do his bit for the roof with a sponsored silence. He doesn't even care about the roof. He just doesn't want to answer any teacher's questions. So, you're not going to speak all day? Not a single word. What if I hold my finger here? What about if I do this? How about this? How about this? How about now? How about now? How about this? How about now? <laughs> Impressive. OK, mate. I'll do you a deal. If you manage to stay silent all day, I'll sponsor you a fiver. But if you say one word, you give me a fiver. What do you reckon? Remember, not one word. In maths, Mr Conundrum has come up with an unusual way to fundraise. So... Uh, if a man uh, uh, wants to raise some money for a school roof, or any roof, but uh, hmm, probably a school one, <coughs> and so he puts two ferrets in his trousers <coughs> and finds that they're both a little more active <coughs> than he thought that they might be. <coughs> <laughs> Should the man <laughs> leave the ferrets in his trousers and hopefully just do his best to get through the day? <laughs> or B, remove the ferrets as soon as possible because it's becoming really <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> yes, Tom? Definitely B, sir. Remove the ferrets as soon as possible. They're probably not enjoying it in their either. Oh, I think you're right. They're starting to bite now! <laughs> So remove the ferret. Very well. Quiet, <laughs> <Bring this. laughs> Break time, and in the canteen, never one to miss out on making money, Mrs Tucker has cooked up her own plan. Whoa, that looks amazing, miss. 
Well, I wanted to do my bit for the roof. He's always been good to me. Perfect for a lunchtime treat. Dash of chocolate, bit of vanilla, and of course, a smattering of the old classic. Ginger? No. Mackerel. Uh, what? A load of fish dropped in the cake mix. That's how I got them cheap. What can I get for you, darling? Absolutely nothing. Where are you going? Well, I could do you a deal. Mrs Tucker's cakes might be inedible. But design and technology teacher Mr Spittle doesn't let anything go to waste. What's this? Oh, a bit of cake. I do love a bit of cake. Oh, sir, I was just about to bin it, actually. It's not very nice. Jasmine, you know as well as I do there is no such thing as not nice cake. I would love a bit of that. It's too dry. Could I try it? Oh, but it's mine. Could I try a nibble of it? Oh, no! It's fallen on the floor. Now it'll just have to go in a bin. Sorry, sir. Oh, oh no bother, Jasmine. Oh, there you go. Oh, eh, it's as good as new. Oh. Oh, this is perfection. I'm picking up passion fruit. Papaya. Mmm. with pineapple. Oh, I'm going to hunt the potato. Perfection. I used to like cake. As the fundraising continues around the school, Mark's about to regret committing to a sponsored silence. You talk yet, mate? and you're not going to speak for the rest of the day. You're doing so well. I can't see anything breaking your silence. Uh, Marcella, can you come over here for a sec? Mark mm. wants to say hi. Mm. Like, literally, what do you want? Mark, don't you want to say hi to Marcella? Rude. What's literally wrong with him? It's not his fault. You see, he's suffering from really bad diarrhoea. Yeah. He's using all the energy he's got just to mm. hold himself together. Mm. Ew, that's literally disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I've got a fiver riding on this. Meanwhile, Mr Potter gives Hilary Head an update. Give me some figures, Potbot. How are we doing? So far, we've raised £7.20, a couple of euros, two old keys and... Uh, a half-eaten apple. Well, keep pushing, Potster. We need it fixed. Doesn't look too bad at the moment. But all may not be lost, because in the afternoon, Mr Christopher is happily getting involved by selflessly giving his own time and ego to make a charity single. This is more than charity. This is more than the room. This is about me now. Hey guys, Mr Christopher here. <laughs> What's up? So I wrote this amazing charity single to raise money for the roof and we're about to perform it live for the first time in a world exclusive. So I hope you lot practice your parts, yeah? Not that you'll be as good as me. How could they be? And a five, six... Uh, Martin? Yeah. They can't see my caring face. And a five, six, eight! I'm playing minor chords, looking very bleak. <gasps> Is that a tear running down my cheek? Oh, yeah. Things are really bad. I'm totes devastated. And I won't stop singing till you've all donated. Fix a roof. Make Dark Ridge High Waterproof. Fix a roof. Make Dark Ridge High Waterproof. Now, check out this wind. It makes me look well cool. Please give now, or we'll have to close the school. And don't forget my really high top note. Ah!
You know you want to fix that roof. Please, fix the roof. All right, that Martin, that's enough tears. Sadly, no one bought the single. And in citizenship, Joy's learning a hard lesson in fundraising too. I want to talk about fear because as part of my effort for the school fundraising for our beloved roof, we will fix you. I faced my fear and uh, cut off my hair. Whoa, that looks really cool, miss. And um, I thought I could sell my hair to raise money for the roof. So uh, who would like to buy a piece? Um, no thanks, miss. Unbelievably, it looks like Mark may have had more success. He's managed to stay silent, and at the end of the day, year 10 are back with form tutor Mrs. Mark to count down the final moments. Oh, um, attention! In one minute's time, my son Mark will become the pride of the school by completing his sponsored silence. Oh, such a proud mummy. Oh, I said I wouldn't cry. I can't wait to give my little fundraiser this check to commend him on all his hard work. <laughs> so, what should we talk about before the big moment? What was Mark's favourite toy when he was little, miss? Oh, well, that's easy. It's Mr Flumpy, the cuddly rabbit. <laughs> Here he is. I always carry him around with me, just in case Marky gets a bit worried. Oh, looks like you might need him now. It's OK, Marky. I'm your best friend. He loves it when I do the voice. 20 seconds to go, miss. Would you describe Mark as a... Mummy's boy. Oh, yeah. So he's always giving me great big kisses and sitting on my lap when he's scared. So adorable. 15 seconds, miss. One more question. Can I just check, miss? You are Mark's mum, right? Well, of course, Billy. I am 100% undeniably Mark's mum. Come on, everyone say it with me. Who's the mummy? You're the mummy. Who the mummy? You're the mummy! Who the mummy? You're the mummy! Who's the mummy? Oh! oh I'm the mummy! <laughs> She's not my mum! <laughs> you talked! It's okay, Marky. I'll still put the 11 pound in the bucket for you. Thanks, my mummy, miss. She's not my mama. Home time, and with just £17.36 collected, the leak remains an ongoing issue, but it's been an enjoyable day of fundraising. I liked it when you weren't speaking. I liked it when you weren't speaking. I'm not speaking. Why are you speaking at me, Paul? Why are you speaking at me? Why are you speaking at me? Speaking at me? Speaking at me? As for the roof, Hillary Head has worked out an interim solution. Well, well, not. You'll just have to stay there till the leak stops. That's a good chap. I'll even give you a fresh bucket. Mrs. Head. Mrs. Head. 